Hey everybody, it's Bob, Bob's Bee Company of Southern Colorado. Um, today, it's October 12th, I believe, and I'm going to start some fall feeding on some weaker hives. And what that is, is giving them some sugar water that will help them finish building out some comb, give them some extra stores for winter. And the way I mixed it, hopefully will give them help them build up a little more. Two to one is usually what you feed in the fall, one to one in the spring, one to one being one part sugar, one part water. Before you get honey supers on, you never feed if you're pulling honey. All the nectar they're bringing in is what goes to your honey supers for pure honey. Um, and I've mixed kind of probably a not quite two to one, in between a two to one and one to one. If there's enough warm weather left, they'll be able to dry out the sugar water into honey that they can use. Um, <clears throat> kind of graduating to feeders. Got my sugar water in here. I'm going to fill all these. It's a gallon. Put the lid on. It has this built in little screen. And once you flip it over, the vacuum it creates keeps the sugar water in. The bees can come up here and draw the sugar water out. And I think the idea with these is they kind of last longer because the bees can't gorge. You have to take their time to get it. And then I can make up another batch of sugar water and just replace the bucket real easy rather than having to open up and fill feeders so we'll see how it goes just wanted to make this quick video about it so because I have what's called telescoping in or outer covers um, I don't have holes that I can just set the buckets on I mean, wildlife in area find it a great idea so in order to add a feeder bucket to a hive make sure I have an inner cover. This is our famous hive that I thought I smashed the queen in. They are full at the top. So uh, beans. Either a deep box or a shallow with a sham. And that will keep the bucket protected. nice and tight so I'm gonna just flip it right here to get that suction going I'll lose a little sugar water and I just set it on them it'll come up and they will just feed off of that that's a gallon it'll maybe take them a week to go through that depending on it still seems to be a nectar flow so They will always go to nectar, natural nectar first, but that will help them fill up for winter and hopefully I won't have to emergency feed in December, January.